Hey everyone, this is uh, Monday, April 15th. We're going to be making a little trip today. We've got to go over close to Dawsonville, Georgia. I'm uh, going over to visit with uh, my aunt. It's going to take us at least a couple of hours to drive over there. And we've got to make a few stops on the way. First stop we're going to make is down here at the post office. We got to mail the uh, income tax that's due today. So let me turn the camera around here and we'll get started. Okay, this is the post office. The sun sure is bright this morning. We're going to be driving in an easterly direction, so we're going to be facing the sun quite a bit this morning. Okay, the taxes are mailed for this year. And that's good. We don't have to worry about income taxes again until next year now. I was self-employed for 33 years before I retired, so I'm pretty used to having come over here every year on April the 15th to pay taxes or to mail taxes. My brother that's in the nursing home, he had some problems yesterday afternoon. And so I'm going to stop by early this morning and check on him and make sure he's doing okay before we head off on our trip. So we'll stop over there first. Okay, we're here at the nursing home. We're going to walk in and visit my brother for just a few minutes before we head on down on our trip. Hopefully he'll be feeling good this morning, doing better. Okay, Gerald, he's doing okay this morning, but he's very sleepy. And they put a pick line in his uh, arm, and they're using that to give him an antibiotic. Uh, he's going to have to get that daily for several days. Okay, we're going to go over here somewhere, fill a tank up with gas, and uh, get started. The camera that I'm using today, it for some reason the audio, it don't pick up good. So we'll try to speak up loud so that you can hear us. gas prices continue to go up. Seems like every time we come over here they go up a little more. They're 265.9 today. Okay, my tank was almost full, so it didn't take too much to fill it up. Finish filling it up. So we're on the way now. Marie and I have been thinking about starting to do live videos. I do a live stream. Right now I'm looking at a couple of different webcams that I, I may purchase. But if I decide on purchasing a webcam, uh, as soon as we can, we'll get started and we'll start doing a, a live stream. Probably just do real short ones to start with and experiment and see how it works. But how you feel about that, Marie? Well, I'm a little for it and a little against it. I'm just like in the middle right now. <laughs> <laughs> you may be blocked. See if your visor, pull your visor up so you can from that. There you go. Everybody can see your pretty smile now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to turn the camera around here and let you see a little bit of the view while we're driving. And 
we're not going to take you, we're not going to record the entire trail because it's too much. Uh, as soon as the sun gets on up a little bit higher, it'll probably do better. Right now, the sun, the camera's probably looking straight at the sun. My car needed to be washed today, but it's 43 degrees this morning. So I'm not going to get there and wash my car this temperature. Let me turn the camera around and we'll get started here. This used to be a four-way stop sign. And they turned a four-way stop sign into a roundabout. Exit the traffic circle onto Georgia 369 East. Continue on Georgia 369 East for nine miles. So well, that was different. Last time I came through, it was a four-way stop. Okay, this is a knife that my daughter Angela has gotten into making. She was really fascinated with that program where they do knives and swords and stuff. So one day she just went out there and did it. Now this is actually a piece of, she wanted to make a, a little holster for Calvin. So this is PVP, PVC pipe that she molded and painted black. Okay, that's great. <laughs> she, and, and this right here, now this is the blade itself is made out of an old shovel handle and she was real innovative she got in the backyard and set up a, a thing where she could heat the blade and then after they get it to a certain point they have to put it in some oil to cure it and then they sharpen it now this is not polished out as much as she could because it's from an old shovel. And this handle right here, what she did, she made this handle herself. She went to Home Depot and got those little pieces of wood <laughs> and put it on there and then sawed it down, well, uh, drilled it down, I should say. And then she put all of this in there uh, to hold it together. But I just think this is the most neatest thing and that's that's not good english but it's the <laughs> neatest thing that she's done now she does all kind of stuff like this and I, i'd like to show you the progression of her work as she does it uh but she's just really really good yes. and she made this and and i asked her about can we give this to calvin calvin is my precious nephew and his wife marie and i asked her could i give this to them and she said yes she'd love for them to have it but it's just something that you don't see. And this is a lady, and this is my daughter. She's a professional. She's an IT specialist with the federal government. And uh, she just has all kind of interest. So this is, uh, this well, is a nice just, gift. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I am glad to get it. And it's going to be turned into, it's going to be an heirloom because, you know, yep. how many people do you know that have... Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Let let Angela know I really appreciate I it and I will take care of this. Yes. I do very much. Thank uh, you, Angela. Yes. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> you're just a good you're just a good man. You always have been. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the camera's on, so y'all just start when you want to. Okay, this is my precious niece Marie. And uh, I've been seeing her since she was just a teenager. And I love her dearly. And I've got this watch that my husband gave me in 1993, and it's that self-wind, and it's, it's sort of, I want it to be an heirloom. A lot of the kids today, they like all of these new tech watches, but I just know that in the future, that, that people are going to appreciate this. And I can't think of a better person in the world that I could pass this down to 
then Marie, so I want you to have this and I want you to enjoy it like I have since 1993. Oh, okay, I sure will. I thank you for it and I, I will definitely keep it and I cherish you. it. I know you will, dear, because you, you're from the old school mm -hmm. and you just, that's just the way you are, you know. Good Christian lady. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, what do I do oh, to record? You don't have to do it. It's recording right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, just hold it there for a minute. <laughs> and what I can do, I can take that and get a still picture out of it. Oh, okay. okay. That would be but good. But we just enjoyed our visit here yes, with Aunt Jean. Yes, I'm and so glad y'all come to see you. Yes. Again. We love you, okay? Jean's a special person. She sure is. Okay, we found the Captain D's. So we're going to go inside and have lunch. Marie, you having the butterfly shrimp dinner? Yeah. And I'm having the fish and fries. Okay, we're back home from making a trip over to see my Aunt Jean today. And I uh, come out here to look at my garden. And even though we've had all that rain, some of my plants look like they need some water. So I've watered a few of them real quick. There's all my tomato seedlings. I've got one tray of green onions. This little tray over here to the left, those are banana peppers. And I know something real neat right here. This is a tomato plant, a Roma tomato plant. And right there, it looks like a delicate squash has grown inside this. Uh, I did have a couple of seeds for delicate squash that did not come up and I don't know if some of the dirt got mixed in here or what but I'll separate these out and try to get that planted and try to save it. Then I've got some uh, bell peppers. My bell peppers are these right there and then I've got two more bell peppers over here and two more bell peppers right there. But all these seedlings are looking very good. They have good color to them and look strong and healthy. So I'll try to set as many of these out tomorrow as I possibly can. Okay, that'll be all for today. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. But I just want to show you my homemade knife that my cousin Angela made for me. I'm really proud of this and can't wait to show it to all my friends. Thanks for watching our videos. We appreciate each and every one of our subscribers. Thanks once again.